Hello there, hi, hi to everybody. I want uh, to continue with this uh, second English video, the first video in which we spoke uh, about, about uh, the Coriolis acceleration. This uh, acceleration, this uh, side push, is not manifesting over the Earth, and we saw, in fact, the, uh, we spoke about an helicopter that is uh, starting its travel at the North Pole and flies toward the equator, but uh, it is not feeling this uh, side push, uh, but, uh, however, it is not seeing the Earth moving under it. Uh, it should see it, because uh, science states that uh, the Earth is moving, is rotating about its axis. So, an helicopter that is moving in south-north direction should see the Earth moving. Uh, at a, a very great speed, because uh, we, if we, we consider the peripheral speed of the Earth, for example at uh, the equator, that is the fastest point over the Earth, is uh, of uh, about 1700 km per hour. So this helicopter that uh, starts at uh, a peripheral speed of zero at uh, the North Pole, arrives at uh, the equator, it should see the Earth under it moving at this wonderful speed, amazing speed of uh, 1700 km per hour. But this is not happening. Why? Why? Explain me, please. But uh, there are many people that say, sustaining the, the idea that the Earth is a globe, they say it is the atmosphere that rotates together with the Earth and gives this uh, side push, this lateral push to the helicopter that is uh, uh, thus moving together with the Earth and uh, it doesn't uh, see the Earth moving under it, it doesn't feel uh, the uh, Coriolis effect. But is this really true? We wanted to analyze this aspect today. Uh, to do this, we have to consider, to imagine this time, Two helicopters. Both helicopters are at on the ground at the North Pole. They um, goes up and travel toward the equator. These two helicopters have uh, the same mass. We can imagine only to give some number that they weight 5,000 kilogram each one, and uh, they can develop the same speed for example, 500 km per hour. So, in their travel, they will be always together, one beside the other, because they travel exactly at the same speed. Since the Coriolis acceleration of the Earth uh, is uh, dependent only on the speed of the helicopters, the Coriolis acceleration necessary uh, to push the helicopters together with the Earth is the same for both helicopters, because the speed is the same, and so the acceleration of Coriolis is the same, and the mass of the weight of these two helicopters, uh, the mass is more correct to say, uh, is the same, so the, the force, the lateral force needed to push the helicopters together with the Earth is the same but let's suppose now, let's imagine, please, dear friends, let's imagine that uh, these two helicopters have a little difference. They are not the same regarding their geometry. One is bigger, the other is uh, smaller, even though they weight the same. Uh, for example, one is offering a surface, a lateral, a side surface, to the push of the atmosphere, a side surface of 15 square meters, while the other one, that is a little smaller, uh, is offering a side surface of only 10 square meters to the push, to the side push of the atmosphere. So, even if we have the same force acting over the two helicopters, we have a different pressure, because pressure is given by uh, Newton 
per square meter. So, so uh, for the smaller helicopter, we will have a bigger pressure, and uh, on the other side, for the bigger helicopter, we will have a smaller pressure. We have, hence, we have two different pressures for two helicopters weighing the same. But since we are fighting the mainstream physics with physics using physics formula, we have a, a beautiful formula that can explain us uh, the relation between the atmosphere pressure, the pressure that is given the atmosphere against these two helicopters and the speed that this atmosphere should have to give this side pressure. The formula is this one, uh, the pressure is given by this formula. Here, this letter rho means uh, the air density in that point. Here we have VE is the speed uh, from Italian velocità, speed, velocity, speed of the atmosphere, okay, and we obtain as a consequence that this is the speed of the atmosphere. But we have to pay attention, we have two different pressures, so we have two needed different speeds of the atmosphere in the same point at the same moment because the two helicopters have the same speed they are one near the other but how the, is this possible how is this possible that in the same point at the same moment in the same point of the planet exactly in the same point the atmosphere should have two different speeds to push these two helicopters together with the earth so that they do not see the earth moving under them. It is not possible, this is a paradox. So we have proved, we have proved the fact that this is not possible. It is not the atmosphere pushing or pulling or dragging, I don't know in English, pushing these two helicopters together with the earth. We have proved that Coriolis is not manifesting over the earth and there is only one reasonable reason that is that the earth is motionless. This is my last evidence of the fact that Coriolis doesn't manifestate over the earth. The earth is motionless. Uh, I th thank you very much because you have uh, listened to me in this video. See you on the next video. This was Earth Measured. Bye bye.